torn by violence and riots for almost a week. Opposition supporters rampage and demand the resignation of the president and his government. No official figures exist for the death toll, but one family is certain that Roberto Thaluzma died here. He was 14 and shot dead, they claim, during the riots by Haitian police. Unable to protect him in life, she defends him in death. Haiti's police chief says that no one has brought the case to them. Unfortunately, they have not reported this case to us. Whenever we receive a case, we will investigate. But Roberto's death has provoked condemnation at the highest level. It's sadly often the case that the poorest of the poor suffer most in these sorts of conflagrations. But in this case, the victims are being further threatened. Since my little brother died, we've been threatened. We are not safe here. We want the Prime Minister to be more responsible and keep us safe. My other little brother receives calls from block numbers and texts saying that if we don't close the case, there will be consequences. Priscille says she saw a riot policeman gun him down. When he was done killing my son, he swapped his gun with another nearby cop and then he went into the hospital to hide. She is now afraid to leave her home. The people that are making those threats, I'm guessing, are the ones who killed my son. These slums are no-go areas for police and Roberto's death has driven home the belief among many people here that the state is their enemy. Sam Kiley, Port-au-Prince.